everybody. Happy New Year for real this time. Last time I did a video post, it was on my birthday. Lots of good things have happened since then, and I hope for you too. Read a lot of books over the last two weeks of taking time off. I think I'm on my eighth one, and my brother started joking that pretty soon people are going to call me Jenny Highlighter Hands <laughs> because I always have a book and a highlighter in my hand, which is true. Can't deny it. Um, what I wanted to share with you is a message that a lot of these books have in common. And I think it can best be described as lift the oars, which is something my wise friend Tara told me. Lift the oars means that sometimes we just need to let go and relax into our lives. As we're all setting 2010 New Year's resolutions and intentions and themes, there's a lot of striving and trying. And I think it's helpful to remember that sometimes life happens, a lot of times it does. And that's where greatness comes from is just lifting the oars and relaxing into our lives a little bit. I also wanted to share a line from a Byron Katie book that I read that reminded me of the Stop Auditioning for Other People's Lives post that I wrote a little while ago. So Katie says, we all do emotional gymnastics to be seen as wonderful or funny just to get what we already have. And because we're doing the gymnastics, we don't see that we already have it. So I want to encourage all of us, myself included, as we enter this new year and new decade, to, amidst all the gymnastics that we're doing, really focus on what we already have and appreciating that so that it can grow. That rustling you hear is my dog, Patches, who's running around. Patches, come say hi. She's poking around in the leaves. Anyway, hope you all have a wonderful day and a great new year, and I look forward to keeping in touch in 2010. Bye.